Satin UPRs on a daily, motherfuckers. 100 kilograms, 225 pounds on the close grip bench, slamming it up like it's fucking nothing. First time ever attempting this weight on any sort of press. On the upper body, obviously. Welcome to another day in the life of a team bodybuilder. You'll see what I'm eating, what I'm doing, and what I put into practice to achieve my results. Enjoy. Squeeze! That's a peeled cucumber. Alright guys. Alright guys, just about to hit the gym now. I've got about an hour and a half to maybe two hours to train. Uh... I want to get in my full arm workout, my ab workout, and cardio. Now, I don't, I think it takes usually longer for me to do all those, so what I'm going to do is just really pick up the intensity in arms, do really high intensity interval training on cardio, and for my abs, instead of doing four supersets, I'm going to do four supersets with four drop sets with each superset. So I'm going to be doing, uh, sort of like windmill leg ups where you where you're hanging and you raise your leg up to your right hand twist it round and down by your left hand and then raise it up by your left hand and down by your right hand then do leg ups which you hit the bar then doing leg ups where they come to 90 degrees and then do knee ups and then do uh, weighted cable crunches and drop set that three times so you're doing a total of four sets on each set but you're doing four it's pretty fucking complicated, I hope you understand what I'm doing. And then for cardio, I think I'm going to do the elliptical machine or the cross trainer. Just go all out in that, do as many high intensity intervals as I can before I have to leave the gym. And uh, I want to do actually extra today, I want to burn extra calories. So I might throw in some drop sets with the close grip bench press and the one arm dumbbell curls. Which will be a total of 8 extra sets in my usual workout. As you've noticed, I've kept the carbs and the overall calories really low today. I'm feeling quite shaky and kind of tired, but that's not a fucking excuse. My gains are non-negotiable, so I'm training hard as a motherfucker today. I don't give a fuck. Going to try and set some new PRs every day. You want to be setting new PRs, going for new PRs, lifting heavier weights. I don't have any spotter today. Hopefully, someone in the gym will be able to spot me. If not, don't give a fuck. So, yeah, I'm going to drop set the close grip bench, drop set the dumbbell curls. I might have to reduce. What I'll do is I'll take as much time as I need in between the two main lifts, which is those two. And then for the rest of the sets, I might just take short breaks in between, maybe 15 seconds. If I'm really stuck for time, I'm just going to do drop sets, which will also help burn up calories. Aiming, helping towards my main goal of losing fat, but also still building them guns, baby. But I need to get the fucking gym, so enough of this talking. Boom! Alright guys, today was arm day. As you can see, I started off with a light weight on my pyramid sets. Usually I'm going with about... Usually I would say about 20 kilograms heavier, which is about 45 pounds on the first set. Sometimes I go heavier, depending on how I'm feeling and what I'm aiming to go for for my last set. So today I was in the, intended on setting a new PR, which you've already seen, and uh, <clears throat> I just decided to keep it light, and also with the lat injury, I didn't want to put too much pressure on it, and I want to make sure I'm well warmed up for my heavier sets. So starting off with this light weight of 40 kilograms, it enabled me just to really warm up the elbows and the back, and really focus on contracting those triceps. Now here, I was nearly hitting failure at 15 reps, but I decided I'm going to hit 20 and just squeeze them out, as you can see. So, I only filmed my first set and my final set, which you can see right here, which is 100 kilograms, 225 pounds. Now, what I did was, was I did put a, quite an arch in my back and pack my shoulders. I didn't come right down and touch my chest, but as you can see, it was fucking about a centimeter away. Got one clean rep by myself, and then I had my spotter spot me for a final, I think I got about another two, maybe three. So, that's two reps. As you can see now, I'm starting to hit real fucking failure and hardly press it. 
and then I was like, fuck it, one more, and then my spotter claimed he didn't spot me that much, but I felt like I didn't even take the weight at all, because I was so fatigued, so I squeezed that up, and then the next exercise, oh, actually, I ended up drop setting it, I just went, fuck it, I was going out, and I was going to be eating out, so I knew it would be higher in calories, so today to burn up more calories and justify eating some dirty foods so called dirty foods motherfuckers but I uh, so I decided to do a few drop sets, throwing a few drop sets on my two key exercises which is the close grip bench and the alternating dumbbell curls so I dropped it down to 90 kilograms busted out an extra few reps and then dropped it to 60 kilograms and then I went down to 50 so as you can see, I went with 90. I should have dropped it a bit more, but I just, uh, I just sort of felt like I wanted to get an extra heavy sex. I really want to build on my strength, especially maintain. I was originally aiming on maintaining my strength during my cut, but as you've seen, I've put on a lot of strength during it, which is very good for me. I'm very happy with that. I knew I would anyway, but just with listening to loads of people claiming that they lose strength on a cut, you know, I don't. I do feel a bit. Sometimes I can feel a bit tired or lethargic with the low carbs, but I just deal with it, go for it, get myself pumped up and focused in the gym. So here's me dropping it down to 60. I believe I got a few on my own, but I was so fatigued at this stage. I went to failure every set on the close grip bench. So this is me going again with the 60 up. Just really trying to jack out the movements. Wasn't focusing on form too much here. But just really wanted to focus on getting as many reps as possible in. As you already saw at the start of the video, I was really focusing on the contraction. So here I just want to bang out as many reps, burn up a lot of calories, burn out the muscle, and justify the foods that you'll see later on in the video. I did keep the carbs very low. I only had that vegetable smoothie at the start of the video, which you saw. So I was feeling... As I've already said, I was feeling pretty lethargic and shaky, but I just put on some good music, focused, and I just banged out the reps, really. Just the, the power of your intention is unbelievable. You need to have an intention of what you're going to do in the gym. Don't be thinking, oh, I'm just going to go in, I'm cutting, take it easy, and hopefully I can lift heavy weight. you got to go in with a game plan. you got to be focused and achieve what you want out of that workout and accept no lower standards. So that's it guys, that's all I got recorded. Enjoy. Alright guys, just got finished fucking killing arms, set a new PR on the close grip bench press and on the dumbbell curls. I got 100 kilograms for one clean ass rep on the flat, flat close grip bench as you saw. And then I set new PRs on the dumbbell curls, got 27.5 kilogram dumbbells for two reps each arm on the straight arm dumbbell curl. I didn't get it recorded, but you know, I fucking... I did uh, the drop sets on the abs, the drop sets straight after the close grip bench and dumbbell curls, which is more than I have ever done for this particular workout. I then did drop sets for abs, which is even more. So I completely burnt out my abs, and then I did 11 minutes of high intensity interval training on the cross trainer. T burnt 200 calories in 11 minutes, just went all out, fuck shit up. Now it's time to get me a post workout meal. I'm gonna have a wee, some dirty foods. But, you know, I'm going to enjoy myself. It's someone's birthday today. I don't want to be rude. <laughs> Holla back! Alright, guys. As you can see, this is what I finished up with. This is some fish pie on the right with mashed potato on top. High-ass calories. And then some chips to the left. Homemade chips. It was a very nice meal. And then for... This was supposed to be a starter, but it was actually a main course. I just had two main courses. Pretty much fucking pigged out. But still was able to, to remain below my calorie intake. So this is my steak. I ended up taking off that garlic butter which is on top. That is a, I think it's about a six or seven ounce steak with some chips. Enjoy. Okay, about to wrap up tonight. It's about half eight. You saw what I ate. About to finish off with three slices of cake. But it's okay, it fits my macros. Doesn't really, I don't count macros. Sun's out, guns out, baby. I'm enjoying myself. It's somebody's birthday, I'm not gonna be rude. It's about to wrap it up now. It's half 11, I'll probably go to bed for about 12. I ended up having a, another slice of cake, so four slices of that cake, and uh, some extra chocolate. 
So, another day in life, episode 11. Enjoy. Enjoy.